So originally I wasn't going to make this video because obviously I prefer potato and I consider banana the inferior version of voice meter. But I started to think about it and I remembered that voice meter inherently doesn't allow you to resize the window of the application. So this can be limiting in case you're using voice meter on a laptop when the screen dimensions don't accommodate the full size of voice meter potato. And I didn't want to limit you know, clearly I'm not the authority on voice meter. There's a lot of voice meter is a very complex application. I do know a lot of the features, but there's still a lot I don't know. What I'm trying to say is <laughs> my configuration in particular and the benefits that come along with it are not exclusive to voice meter potato. And I didn't want to set that expectation that if you like my setup and that you want to use it, you have to use voice meter potato. So. I'm going to show you how to achieve the same setup and, you know, enjoy the same benefits of my setup if you're restricted to, or if you prefer, using voice meter banana. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, the prerequisites to achieving my setup. Uh, if you had watched my voice meter potato video, you would have seen that I suggested that we use virtual audio cables. Uh, look at it as an optional download but in voice meter banana we will need to install the extra cables to enjoy the same benefits because as you can see uh, in our mixes section we only have access to voice meter input and voice meter aux and if we click our hardware option here you will see we don't have voice meter vio3 accessible to us even though we've installed voice meter potato this is where the extra cables come in. You can see that I have installed A and B, but it's not necessary. You just need the, the one extra cable that comes free. So just to help you guys out and I'll have you bounce back and forth between both of my videos, uh, I'll show you how to install the extra cables that are required to achieve my personal setup. So we're gonna head over to the old voice over website. Uh, link will be in the description. Make sure you navigate to virtual audio cable and download this extra virtual audio cable for free. I'm going to save it. Uh, setup process will be the same, right? It's going to go into your downloads. You open up the folder, run as administrator, and just click through the installation process. Once that's done, it's going to prompt you to restart, restart your computer. And you come back to here. And now, once again, like with the voice meter potato, uh, your sound on your computer is going to stop working. And I'll show you how to fix that here with Banana. So what we're going to do, we're going to open our settings. And we're going to go to sound. In sound, for our virtual output device, we're going to choose voice meter input. And for our input, we're going to choose B1. Now, these settings are consistent with how we set up voice meter potato. And keeping these settings the same between voice meter potato and banana in our system sound settings will enable us to switch back and forth between voice meter potato and voice meter banana at will with ease. And I'll show you how to switch, you know, later in the video. So once we have these devices selected, we can exit our settings. So the current state of our setup is that any application that we run will by default run in voice meter input unless we set, unless we set otherwise, right? What we're going to do is click A1 here, make sure that's checked and then select A1 as our default output device. In my case, it's my speakers which is actually my headphones, but you choose the one that's best for you and make sure you stick to WDM where possible. Uh, if you're gonna choose Bluetooth, right? It's probably better to choose MME. You will have a little bit of lag, but it's more stable. So as soon as you set these options, clicking A1 and choosing your default output device, your audio on your computer will start working again. I'm just gonna clear these to mirror what uh, your setup would look like, right? 
So the disadvantage of using VoiceMeter Banana is that we only have ex we only have access to two virtual mixes, which would be VoiceMeter Input and VoiceMeter Aux. We are missing the VAIO3 that comes with VoiceMeter Potato. Now to emulate this, this is where the extra audio cable that we installed comes in. Okay, you're gonna choose whichever slot you want. Uh, I like to have it on the on the right side, closer to the virtual inputs. But it doesn't matter. Personal preference. Uh, we're gonna choose virtual our virtual cable that we installed. And yeah, so that's plugged in. So now anything that we any application that we set to output to cable output will come here instead of going to our default. Okay. So the rest of the configuration, uh, voice meter input is already configured because it's the default unless we specify otherwise. To configure voice meter aux, we will go into an application like Discord, right? And we want to find our voice and video settings. If we are prioritizing OBS as one of the destinations of our audio that we need to go to, then we will uh, limit ourselves in how many mic outputs that we will have accessible to us, right? So this means like if you're in game and you're from Discord at the same time, those two uh, destinations for your mic will have to be mirrored if you want to record an OBS at the same time. That means any application across the board, whether it's in game or a separate application, they're going to receive the same mic input for our comps. If OBS is not, you know, a priority for us, then we are able to separate what Discord can hear and what our in-game can hear. So it's up to you. Right. I'm going to assume that OBS is a priority for you. So we're going to continue with the configuration with that in mind. Okay. So we are now going to use B1 as all communication across the board. So that means our default input device in Discord will have to change to B1. B1 is here, okay? And our output device, we can actually, we can maintain this because we have a separate mix. This is going to be our comms. So we need to choose voice meter aux as our default output device. Voice meter aux. So what this means is that whenever we select B1 on any of our uh, channels, that audio will get sent to Discord, as of right now. Okay. And because it's our default mic, any app, new application that we install without configuring, if we press B1, it's going to send our mic to that. So if we install a new game, we don't have to choose their settings. It's automatically going to pick up B1 as our default mic, and we can select that. If I'm going to select B1 here for my mic, this mic is going to be mirrored across Discord and my game. Okay, that's how that works. So you're going to repeat this process for every application that you want comms in. So whether it be Microsoft Teams, Zoom, what, what have you. Uh, you're going to choose B1 as your mic input and AUX as your output. So now we're done with comms. And now we're going to configure our makeshift VAIO3, which is our catch-all. Okay, so we've already selected cable output is here. We are going to decide what applications go through here. So for me, I like to use it for um, my web browser because that's where I listen to music, I watch YouTube videos. An easy way to get all the media that I want playing out of this one source. Right, but you can, you can choose however many applications you want going through here. If you watch YouTube videos on your stream, you can put your browser here. And if you have a dedicated music streaming app, you can also feed it to the same because normally you're not watching, you're not listening to both sources at the same time. You're going to be listening to music or pausing the music and playing the YouTube video, right? So if you didn't decide to install Ear Trumpet, we'd have to go back to our settings and into sound. Scroll all the way to the bottom and choose Volume Mixer. This will show you a list of applications that are currently running on your computer. 
we select which devices that we want to run through the cable output. So in my case, I've chosen my web browser. So we will go to our web browser, expand the dropdown, and choose cable input as our default output device. So now for our input device, in my case, I'm using my browser. So just in case I make calls within my browser, I'm going to choose B1 here. Right. But if you're choosing like a dedicated music app that you're typically not going to make calls in a music app, right? So this device doesn't matter. You can set it to whatever you want. Now, this is the section you have to be aware of when changing because this will mess with your voice meter potato configuration if you're going back and forth. So I recommend that, you know, you consider these options carefully, right? And try your best to keep them consistent so that when you are switching back and forth, you don't have to do too much setup again. And so I guess this is a good time to show you how to go back and forth between voice meter, banana and potato. And this is going to be a little difficult to uh, record since I am using voice meter to record. I'm going to figure out how to do that. All right, so I've stopped using voice meter to record my mic. So my mic's going to be a little bit messed up. It's going to be just quick and dirty to show you how to switch between uh, voice meter banana and voice meter potato. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu, whichever version you are on, and hit shut down voice meter. And then you're just going to open up whichever version you want. So you can open up potato. Potato will initialize. And I think if I just do this. there test okay so yeah now you can hear me so that's how you would switch back and forth and then you just got to make sure that your uh, applications are set to the right sources you test them out by playing them and make sure they're going to the right destination and make sure that these options are your routing is set correctly so yeah if you've been following along with the previous tutorial that i posted about how to use uh, voice mod within voice meter the setup is going to be a little complicated right if you want to achieve the same effects and benefits that i had where i can play any audio source that i want to into voice mod you are unfortunately you're not going to be able to record with obs and so i'm going to assume that recording with obs is your priority so I can show you how to configure voice mod to incorporate that. You'll just be losing out the ability to play any sound through voice mod. Okay, so when we have voice mod installed, right? We want to go to settings. And for our default input device into voice mod, we're going to choose our microphone. So this means that my microphone is going to both voice meter and voice mod so whatever effects that i apply to my microphone and voice meter or whatever limited effects that i apply to voice meter it's not going to go through to voice mod and i don't have the ability to play you know funny videos through the effects of voice mod but at least i can apply it to my own voice for your default output device in voice meter potato i said that this source doesn't matter unless you click this checkbox to hear yourself Right, that same that, at least that stays consistent because we can go back into vo a voice meter banana and select the option to tap into voice mods virtual cable. So now that our, our microphone is being mirrored to voice mod, and we have a bit of a delay here with the mirroring to our voice mod within voice meter, which accounts for the processing of voice mod effects. But at least we have the option to monitor ourselves here and we can send our voice to our comms in game or in discord as the same source and we can also set our voice effects to OBS for recording. So the benefits of having this set up here right, is we can change the volume here for what for how we listen to our effects playback. We can change the volume uh, in B1. Once these effects are mixed, we can change B1 
and, and adjust the volume for what other people can hear. And we can also adjust the volume for what OBS can record too. So yeah, that's how you would use a uh, voice meter banana. Um, what am I supposed to say here? I don't like banana, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to say. If you're using banana, if you're using banana because you have to, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you, but <laughs> I don't like banana, okay? <laughs> but this is how you would achieve the same options. All right, a similar configuration if you were using voice meter banana. So your cable input will be your mock VIO3, and you can put your music over there. Any comms applications would come running through here, and your, you know, everything else, everything you're focused on, default applications will run through here. Okay, you know, if you watched the potato video and this video, you can clearly see those limitations in action. But either way, I think this configuration is a lot better than, you know, a lot of videos that I've seen on YouTube. I've, I've only checked a few videos. I haven't been scouring the, the whole YouTube for anyone similar to mine. So if anybody else does have a similar setup, good for them, <laughs> right? I'm glad that somebody else is also making content like this. I haven't seen it yet, so I just wanted to put it out there. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Quick and dirty, just to show you how to use banana. And... Yeah, enjoy your new toy.